Today, these two wonderful people, Diana and Greg, will be united in matrimonial blessing. They are already bonded together with mutual love, mutual respect, and mutual trust. In the Armenian tradition, the groom is declared to be a king and the bride a queen. They are to treat each other with royal dignity and unconditional love. As we stand here, they will make their pledge to be loving and loyal to each other for the rest of their lives. In accord with God's holy ordinance and the canons of the Holy Fathers, you have come to be lawfully crowned and united into holy matrimony. May God keep you in mutual love, lead you to a ripe old age, and make you worthy of the unfading crowns in heaven. My son Gregory, do you take Diana to be your wife, to love, honor, and respect her, to care for her, to be a source of strength and support unto her, to be ever concerned for and committed to her good, to accept her as God's gift unto you, being ever faithful and obedient unto God's commandment for the rest of your life. Yes, Holy Father, I do. Greg and I grew up together and have always stuck by each other's side. When we were kids, we were pretty much inseparable. From late night slumber parties, to trips to Toys R Us, to staying up until 3 a.m. playing Nintendo, we were always together. Now as adults, we still remain inseparable, but our toys are grander, and our games are now played in Mohegan Sun. My daughter Diana, do you take Gregory to be your husband, to love and honor and respect him, to care for him, to be a source of strength and support unto him, to be ever concerned for and committed to his good, to accept him as God's gift unto you, being ever faithful and obedient unto God's commandment for the rest of your life. Yes, Father. Yes, Holy Father, I too. Let us love each 